Buying a new car is better than buying a used car. It's crazy because your interest rate is lower. Oh my God, bro. We try to co-star this thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah! What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're back at it, back at it with another video. Uh, so, I decided to make this quiz stop. You see, the sun is going down. Look at the sky, it's just so pretty. Damn, the sky looks no nice. It looks so nice out here. Anyway, guys, just wanted to make this quiz stop to talk to you guys about buying one of these used can be a bad idea. A lot of people will buy a car not knowing what they getting themselves into. They wanna go buy a car and they don't really know nothing about this car, right? Um, I have seen people that, you know, wanna start a channel, they wanna buy a scat pack, they wanna do this, do that. They think that buying one of these, it just, you know, and starting a YouTube channel is just gonna be easy. Some people wanna get themselves in so much debt, guys. It's not necessary, you know? Uh, you don't need to uh, take out a loan to buy one of these to go start a YouTube channel. and. Uh, you know, get yourself in a $800, $900 car note. Getting yourself in one of these guys can be a little headache, you know? Um, these cars are not cheap. I'm telling you, these cars are not cheap. Uh, there's people out there paying thousands of dollars for a Hellcat or a Scat Pack. I'm making this video right because a lot of people are willing to buy a car with high mileage. And sometimes, you know, when you're buying a type of car like this, it can be a Mercedes, a BMW, a Hellcat, a Scat Pack. When you're buying a car like this these cars are high performance cars so these cars are not cheap as you can see you know starting with the brakes you know those are expensive brakes brimbo brakes um this type of brakes only performance high performing cars have them you know these these are best of the best a lot of people would get themselves in a high car note you know what i'm saying they will they willing to go all out on a car and get themselves in so much debt that, you know, it can become a headache. Guys, listen, you don't have to rush yourself into a Hellcat or a Scat Pack. Whether, that's a Mustang, like always. <laughs> anyway, guys, you don't have to get yourself uh, in no headache. You know, you don't have to go all out. Be patient, man. Buying a Hellcat or a Scat Pack with high mileage can be the worst mistake. I'm telling you, I'm going to play this video real quick.
telling you, these cars are abuse. Um, these cars are meant to burn tires, guys. But at the end of the day, they're not meant to be abused. You know, a lot of people will, man, you know, they will freaking burn tires all day long. And, you know, a car that been abused like that, you know, with 50,000 miles can be a problem. So don't rush yourself into getting one of these, a Scat Pack or a Hellcat, because I'm telling you, you can run into a headache. And once you walk out of that dealership with that car and three weeks later, that chicken angel like, come on, hey, don't be mad. Make sure you do your research, guys. Make sure you take a mechanic with you. Make sure you take somebody that you know to the dealership with you. Just take somebody that you can trust. Take somebody that you, um, you've um you been dealing with them, like a mechanic, you know, somebody that knows about cars or somebody that knows about these type of cars. Buying a high mileage um, Scat Pack or Hellcat can be a problem, a major, major problem. You guys saw that video, right? You saw them Hellcats, them three Hellcats standing next to each other. You saw how long they burn them tires. These cars are meant to burn tires, to do donuts, to drift, but they not, you know, abuse them. Some people abuse these cars. I'm telling you, some people will, man, you, you talking about a, a Hellcat with 50,000 miles. You don't know who had that Hellcat. You don't know. Now, trust and believe me. Like I just, guys, me personally buying a used, uh, car, it can be a risk. I feel like, you know, buying a new car is always better. And it's crazy because your interest rate are lower buying a new car. Buying a new car is better than buying a used car. It's crazy because your interest rate is lower when you're buying a, a, a brand new car. Your interest rate are higher when you're buying a used car. So buying a used car, guys, it's not always the best route to go. I feel like you should just be patient. Run your credit up. If you got bad credit, make sure you get your credit better. Um, save you a little bit of money and then go and purchase that car. Don't get yourself in a $50,000, $60,000, $70,000 loan and you are struggling to pay these, you know what I'm saying, to make these payments. Don't rush into doing none of that, man. I'm telling you, there, there's no need to rush. Buying a, a brand new car, guys, is way better than buying a used car. So what I suggest to you is take your time, be patient, and then go get a brand new car. I was patient. I started with a V6, like I always talk about on my video. I started with a V6 because my credit was not that good. I built my credit, and then I went and got a 2021 brand new out of the dealership. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Beautiful. A lot of people come to me talking about, oh, your wide body, your wide body. Bro, listen. Let me take... <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm just going to talk about this real, real quick, real quick. I ain't going to hold you guys too long. Just check this out. Check this out. All right. So when when you see a V6 in the street, right, with a with a with a decal badge of a Hellcat, you can tell that's not a Hellcat. Right. If if, if somebody do a wide body to a Hellcat, right, to a Hellcat, you can tell you can tell that that uh, uh, car ain't from factory, bro. Unless I let you know. So a lot of people be talking, bro. If you see this car right here on in the street, like right now, if you see it, me driving down the street, you are going to think that this car was I was bought like this. You can't tell, bro. See, I can tell when it's a fake scat pack. I can't tell when it's a fake Hellcat. Bro, this is not fake, my dude. This is not faking it. You feel me? Because they make these, bro. They made these. Why body? What do you guys don't get? That's what I, bro. Do you want me to pop the hood? Wait, let me open my car. Hold on, let me open my car. You see that? What did I say right there, bro? You want me to hold on? Let me crank my car on, bro. Let me crank my car. See, wait, wait. See, a V6 with a decal of a Hellcat? No, bro. No, they don't make V6 Hellcat. What they do make? What they do make is 392 wide bodies. They do make them, bro. They do make them. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Check it out. Check it out. Hold on. What did this say? Yeah. You saw that little B? Yeah. Hold on. Let me, let me, hold on. Hold on, man. I'm really going to go all out tonight. Hold on. What? It, in this crazy, this video is not even about this, but I just want to talk about it. Wait a minute. Oh my God. 
That's a big engine. Anyways, guys, for the ones that been supporting me from day one, man, I thank you guys so much, man, for coming to the channel and just supporting your boy, man. Um, you know, people always gonna talk smack, bro. Like, I don't wanna, I don't even wanna curse you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna leave it like that, bro. I ain't. You feel me? Like. Now y'all gonna bring the hood out of me. I be trying to be professional with y'all, man. I swear to God, bro. But listen, let me tell you something. They make these, fam. You feel me? And for the ones that been supporting me, thank you, thank you, thank you, bro. Like, all of y'all, man, thank y'all for the support, for the love. We running it up. We finna go to 2,000 subscribers. They ain't talking about nothing. I believe in me. And man, listen, check this out. Buying a used scat pack or a Hellcat can be the worst mistake you can make. Be patient. I be trying to tell you guys, be patient, bro. Be patient. You can get you a brand new car. I'm telling you, I'm putting it right here on the screen. Your interest rate, bro, is lower with a brand new car. So you winning from the beginning. The whole time you're trying to negotiate this car, you winning from the, from the beginning of you starting to negotiate this car, bro. You are winning, bro. Why? Zero miles, you the first owner. That's your old car, bro. That inside is gonna smell like a brand new car, bro. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like a brand new car smell. Straight up. One, that's one. Two, your interest rate is lower, bro. Listen, let me tell you something. When you buying a car, the two most important thing that's in that should be in your mind is because that's the only thing that's that you have control of. You don't have control of whatever them people want to do in the back. When they talking to the bank or they running them numbers, that's out of your control. You don't see that. That's why you got to become a negotiator. You got to negotiate. You got to know numbers. Listen, two things you are trying to get, you know, that's what your mindset should be. When you go into a great cart note and a good interest rate, those are the only two things you can negotiate. Nothing else. Nothing else. I don't care what anybody say. Interest rate and, um... And Cardinal, those are, the, those are the only two things. You can't do nothing else, man. You know, you are trying to get the best Cardinal. You are trying to get a good interest rate. You know what I'm saying? You're not always going to win, but you can negotiate, bro. That's all it's about. You feel what I'm saying? You're trying to get a good interest rate and a good Cardinal. You feel me? We all trying to get money. It's all a business. But at the end of the day, bro, they make three. <laughs> they made white body 392s, bro. They make these. They don't make wild bodies V6s. What you want me to... Bro, what, what else you want me to say? Guys, I'm out of here, man. Thank you for coming to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And, man, we're on our road to 2,000 subscribers, man. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed, blessed week.